Welcome back to the WRT. We're here in the Golden State for the Pleasanton Open. These players have traveled near and far to compete here this weekend with over 28 players from eight different countries. This will surely be a melting pot of game style and talent. These players are going to amaze you with their super speed gets and their amazing power. So make sure you let the world know that you're watching the WRT by using the hashtag WRT and hitting us up on social media. Also, these players play best two out of three games to make a match. That's the first two to 15 and the tiebreaker to 11 win by one. Each player is allotted two timeouts. So let's get this tournament started and see who will be crowned Pleasanton champion. Ugal deserves zero zero. Point. One serve zero. Here we go with the first quarterfinal of the day here at the Pleasanton Open. I'm Laura McCormick with the WRT, and joining me today, Nancy Coconut. Pleasure again to be here, Laura. Happy to be in Washington in the open and starting our quarters with a great match. Jake Brennenberg Jose Daniel from Ecuador. Skip. Shut up. Zero two. Score right now is 2 2 in the beginning of the quarterfinal match. Side up. 0 2, excuse me. 2 0. Baldi with a bit of an early lead here in the match against Jake Bredenbeck. Yeah, different from. Um, Skip. Jake missing another backhand and 3 0 for 3 0. Sorry, thank you. Now the last time that these match these two matched up was actually this past weekend we were in Seattle for the Mount Rainier Open. Seven back won that match, and that was round six. So this is a second immediate Point. matchup for these two here in the quarterfinals this morning. Uvalde looking for some revenge then from last week. And Five serves zero. Yeah, he's starting out very strong right here in game one. Point. Six serves zero. Taking his time in the service box. He seems very in control so far here in game one. Six serving zero is a very good lead for Uvalde. was close. Seven zero. Seven zero, a big lead here for Bred uh, excuse me, for Ugalde. I'm curious, you know, Coco, what do you think Bredenbeck needs to do right now? Seven points, no timeouts. What do you think's going through his head? That's exactly what Jake has to do. Hit harder and pass Ugalde all the way back. That was a really good shot by Jake. Zero seven. In drive serve, yeah. He does great. Work. Second yeah, serve. Yeah, Beck serving incredibly last weekend. Probably the second highest in aces behind Cardona. Right 
it out. Seven zero. Still no points. Side right out for Brad and Beck. Zero seven. Pinch there again. Seven zero. And back in the box. Seven zero. Nice get. Another great point. point. Ugalde definitely in control here in game one with an early lead, controlling the tempo. And playing Eight well defensively zero. too. I mean, we know Bredenbeck is one of the more most powerful players here on the WRT, and Ugalde looking really scrappy and really. Do you think he some back in that serve at all? No, no, no. Zero eight for Jake in the box and zero eight. See what if he can score now. Point. All right, and there's the first point for Brennan back, right? Yeah. Finally, he's in this board and one, one eight, eight. eight. No, no, no. Second serve. Point. Two serves eight. All right, Brennan Beck getting some rhythm back. I was going to say I was surprised he didn't do anything to break the momentum earlier, but Jake knows his game. Point. Yeah. Jake's back and controlling now the pace with those drive serves, making three serves. Gladly go in front and kicking him back again. Point. Four in a row. I'd be curious to see how Ugalde can break Jake's rhythm right now. Four eight. Second serve. See JQ a bit not going that low in his serve, that's probably why he's getting those shorts. And he's gonna change for the lob to the forehand. Point. Nice shot there from Bredenbeck. Ugalde Five. doing his best to chase it Third down. Point. There it is, an ace Time from out. Bredenbeck. And a timeout for Ugalde now. Jake practicing that serve. Good. So I think one of the things to note here, we can kind of go over some of the stats for both of these players. Jake Bredenbeck seated number three here at the tournament this weekend in a bit of a points battle as usual. That seems to be the theme so far for 2015 between Cardona, Polo Gutierrez, and Jake Bredenbeck. And then Ugalde from Ecuador coming out strong here in game one, seated number 11 here at the Pleasanton Open. <laughs> So it'll be interesting to see if this timeout worked to Ugalde's advent advantage and if he can break the rhythm here of Bredenbeck. It's one thing that um, I've learned so far watching Bredenbeck play is you don't want him to get comfortable, you don't want Six him to be in control, so he'll just dominate. Yeah, you don't want Jake shooting at all because he has so much sure. power and he's a very consistent player, so the more you can break Jake's momentum, he's better.
Set up. Now, to me, that was a big strategy change for Ugalde. He really made Redenbeck move around on that point and try to tire him out, and he won the side out. Yeah, you could see Ugalde trying to change Eight paces six. there, not getting into Jake's fast and hard power game. More, more of a control, taking him back and moving him around. <laughs> Nice fast footwork there from Ugalde. Gets him a point. Nine six. Side out. A little bit of a lucky shot there by yeah. Jake Hill. <laughs> Kind of kind of followed it around there. Yeah, Six nine. down the line, not very common to see that. Right up. And Ugalde takes the same shot at him. And I mentioned earlier that the last nine time these two met up was past, past weekend at the Mount Rainier Open. It was uh, Bredenbeck taking the match, so Ugaldi's fighting back early in the first game. Beautiful Point. shot there by Ugalde. Ten six. Point. And another point for Ugalde. Eleven seven six. Eleven six again. Ugalde with a big lead, five point lead against. <laughs> That will be a replay scene there. Do it again. 11-6. I can see Jake's not liking that serve at all. Ugalde's doing the crack there in the back end. Really close to the screen, but it's actually a really good serve too. <laughs> nice get from Ugalde. Nice rally here right so up. far in Beautiful game one. Rally. Really good gets by Ugalde. He almost got that last down the line shot by Jake and unfortunate for him, but good for Jake. Six Back eleven. To serve six eleven. Let's see if he can cut the <laughs> just short. Point. Another big rally there. I feel like they're both really playing the corners right now. That's working to their advantage. Seven eleven. Point. Tough break there, right up against the wall. Running back on a bit of a roll right now with two in a row. Eight turns eleven. Great ace Point. by Jake Rennenbeck. Second ace of the game so far today. Nine eleven. By Jake, kind of worked. Although he had a response from Ungalde, he killed it right after it. Pan serves 11. Pumped up, right up, yelling vamos to himself. Big shot from Ugalde there in the stand. back of the court. That's going to give him the side out. Oh. 
unfortunate by Ugalde missing that Hello. kid. Ten eleven. Shot there from Agaldi. Crowd showing him some love for that. The big side out for him here as Bredenbeck has closed the gap. Ugaldi now up by one. I feel like 11, 10. we usually talk about the 10 point mark kind of being a, a bit of a pivotal point here in the match. In That's the game. The toughest part of a match. Ooh, and point. an ace for Ugalde. First one of the game. Twelve ten. Nope. Big swing there from Brad and Brad. Side out. That is one thing you don't want to do if you're playing against Bredenbeck is have him right there in the center court. His feet were planted and he can just swing away. Ten twelve. Oh no. Short serve for Jake, taking his time to second serve. From the second serve, probably thinking about what he's gonna do right now, and looks like a lob to the forehand. Bit of a Point. Eleven, twelve. Bredenbeck can tie it up here. 11 serving 12. Oh, oh. Tough call there by the ref. Short serve. Second serve. That really could have gone anyway, so have to just stick with to the ref, what the ref said and goes back for the lob right. Point. Right, Jake. That's going to tie it up here, 12-12 in game one. Stick with us, folks. We have plenty more racquetball to come. This is the 12, first quarterfinal match I'm so out. far of the morning here at the Pleasanton Open. I think these guys are going to go ahead and take a timeout, and so are we. We're going to hear a word from our sponsors. We'll be right back in just a moment. Running back with a quick point there right after the timeout, making it 12. Point. And another point for Brett and Beck. It's going to be game point for Jake Brett and Beck, 14 serving 12. 14 serving 12. Oh, no, no. Green serve called by the ref. Looks like we'll get a second serve. Green serve. Good call keep there. The tension high on a game point, right? Jake somehow managed to get this game out and really good serve to his backhand for Ugalde and skip that shot. Right up. Big side out here for Ugalde with a chance now to answer back. 12 serves 14. Point. Big beautiful point pinch. Beautiful pinch there by Ugalde. Comes up trying now. 13, 14. Come back from, from, from down and 13 serving 14. If Ugalde scores, it will make a very interesting end of game. Right up. Frame and strings there at the same time for Jake. Great shot splatted. 
Ends 14 serving 13. It was a crucial point for both of them. 14 13. And Jake got the best out of it. Second game point here for Bredenbeck, who came from behind. He was down. Oh. Today he'll get a second serve. Second serve. Oh no! All right, that means Bredenbeck is the winner of game, game one. Bredenbeck. A very exciting game one with Ugalde in the lead for most of it. Bredenbeck coming from behind, tying it up, and then winning the match 15 13. We're going to go ahead and take a break. We'll be right back with game two, so don't go anywhere. <laughs> And we're back here, ready for game two. Bredenbeck taking game one, 15-13 against Jose Valde of Ecuador. It'll be interesting to see, you know, I, I don't know how much more he can switch up his game or, or either player that was such a tight game one. Coco, what are your thoughts on that first game? It was just come, um, weird. It was like a carousel there. Jake sometimes having great games and then great points, then Doing some unforced errors. Ugal is the same. Zero, zero, end, zero. I think Jake's power always is uh. like speed and intelligence. But let's see, anything could happen in this game. Sure, sure. When 15 13 second game can go wherever. Yeah, game two is completely different. Looks like Brennebeck will get a second, second serve. serve. Right out. Zero, zero. Ooh, big swing from Bredenbeck. Skip ball. Good throw by Jake, not usually he does that. And one zero. Working, that's really weird. You can see the pressure there. And first, first, first point, point for Oh, I said it Sorry. first. No, I'm just kidding. Right out. Zero one. Lucky shot there by you, Valle. Quick side out there. For those of you watching at one home, zero. these players are playing with the official ball of the WRT. That's the Gearbox Black Ball. If you want to order some balls or some other Point. Gearbox products, go to GearboxRB.com. Two serves zero. Coming strong there for game two. Switch his serve a little bit to the lock to the forehand for Jake. Not very strong when you see a player do that to Jake. Oh, nice shot. For him. All right, Ugaldi kind of giving Bredenbeck back some of his flash there. It was a nice shot from him. Got some showmanship out there this weekend. Ugaldi with a lead here again in game two. Ugalde pumping himself up there. That was a big rally. Some big powerful hits, winning the point. That's an early lead here. 4 0. 4 0. Right nice return there from Bredenbeck. That's his side out. Let's see if he can get some points here. Gonna take control here in the serving box. Zero 4. Right out. Nice quick hands there by Ugalde. Ball came right into him. He just handled it into the right corner 
Four, two, zero. And back in the box. Oh, well again, that between the legs. Back and not working for him. <laughs> zero, four. Sometimes it works. Skip ball. Skip ball from Bredenbeck. That's going to give Ugalde a chance here again in the service box. Ugalde in a good rhythm and again in control here early in game four two. Zero. Jake, that's his fourth on fourth error in his back end. He had a clear setup there and couldn't take it. Right out. And now he comes with an amazing <laughs> counter pin shot. Strong and pumped up now. I think he's mad at himself. Zero he's four. going to see some. Really fast serves. Looks like Ugalde was looking for a call there. Our rep is I thought it was gonna good. say it's good. Tough call for the ref. Screen was called from both players and ref didn't call it so he's coming for a set out now. So we're talk a little bit about that call. I don't know what you do here at this point. I think we're trying to see if we can get the audio there for those of you watching at home. It's going to be a little bit of a discussion from between the ref and the players because the screen was called by both players. The ref didn't call it, so you have to keep on playing with the did it. He won the round ball. He's probably not going to give Jake that second time. Like it's going to be a side out then. Galdi's back in the service box. Four zero. And a big return there from Brett and Beck. Maybe that's a little bit of uh, ball karma, right? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> he caught the crack there in the side. Four. And <laughs> oh, beautiful uh, pinch there by Jose Daniel Ugalde. And 4-0. Four 4-0. Zero. Four zero. Nice shot there from uh, Bradenbeck, chasing it down hit. in the corner. That was a great zero hit and roll out from Jake. Back to the box. Tough corner there. While they chasing it down. Point. There's another point for Bredenbeck. So Jake playing One corner four. there, making Ugalde <laughs> the ball hard. Good shot. Wow, big, big on force there by Ugalde. With his forehand, clear court shot and Two four. gifted it bad. No, 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 no. Four shot. Mugalde now second on fourth error with his four in this game. Oh, shot for shot there. Good shot. Now they're just showing off. Got some giggles from the crowd. Yeah. That was a nice rally too, both of them. Four two. Ball came straight to their their body. They had to go to that under the leg shot. Shut up. Big side out there for Brett and Beck. Let's see if he can move the score along. They've been two stuck a little bit here four. at two serving four. No. Jake trying to go to a pace changing serve. Second serve. The crack, but short there. And going to the lob. <laughs> Tough 
tough break oh. there. It's a lot of frustration on the court right now. Again, looks like Jake's taking the long rallies and Ovalde just losing. I think he's getting pressure into himself even though he had the lead. Quite another great serve by Jake. But three of those four points for Jake have, have been non forced errors by Ugalde with four his four. Forehand. So I think Jake should keep the pressure in there. Uh, uh, uh. If we take a look at the path that some of these players took here today, starting with Brenna Beck, he played Jose Daniel Alvarez, which is actually Ugalde's doubles partner, also from Ecuador. Galde defeating Dima Wirt and then Mario Point. Rojas to get here to the quarterfinals today against Bredenbeck. Bredenbeck now in the lead in game Five two. Four. He won game one 15-13. Beautiful shot there by Jake. Point. Six four. Now he has the lead again, the two point lead. <laughs> nice there. Kinda slow changing the pace shot by Ugalde. Right yeah. to the right corner and he has a chance Four, to six. build back up some points. It's funny because both of the players are pretty frustrated, it seems, with themselves. And even though they're winning the points, sometimes I can't. <laughs> nice chase down there from Bredenbeck. Skip shot. Skip ball there from Ugalde like he's stretching out his calf, maybe a previous injury here. Six four. Second serve. For those of you watching at home, don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. On YouTube, you can catch all of our past matches. That's youtube.com slash world ball. Another error there from Bredenbeck. Four six. there from Bredenbeck. Some great gets from Ugaldi. What a rally here in game two. Probably one of the tougher ones. Yeah, starting slow for both of them. Six and four. then just great shooting by Jake. <laughs> by Ugalde and Jake just finished that with a <laughs> back in. Wow. Terrible there from Ugalde. Just Try to, I think, make a three wall corner shot and didn't work at all. Timeout. Uh, time back now, up by three. Looks like Ugaldi's going to take a timeout. We're going to go ahead and take a break, too, and hear from our sponsors. Keep it right here with the WRT. That hamster boy sucks. Yeah. He hasn't even scored a point yet. Yeah, I don't think I have a chance with that racket. Oh, come on, you can get that. Uh. No, you can't. <laughs> We gotta get him a gearbox racket. Maybe we should shave it. I don't think it's gonna like getting shaved. Yeah, but then I'll go faster. Yeah. And we're back live I'm here in. in game two of our first quarter final four. of the morning between Bredenbeck and Ugalde. <laughs> Shot there from Bredenbeck down the line, and Galde just missing it. I 
it's that uh, timeout did not work to a Valdez advantage. There's a point for Brett and Beck. Point. Another nice down the line shot in the other corner here today. And 9 4 now for Jake. That's working for him. Nine the four. drive serve and going down the line either side. Day playing that corner that Brett and Beck's been playing against him. The side out for Jose. Seen Jake twice go for the Z serve to four the second, and neither of them has worked. So I think Jake should stick to his drive serve. That's what's been working for him. Oh. That Big was great shot job. there, yeah, from Ugalde. Pumping himself up, a little fist pump there. Five nine. Big rip from Brennan back in the back court. That's going to give him the side out. Still up by four here in game two. Kind of took over control. Nine five. Calling it the two bounce on himself. That's what we like, honesty and integrity here at the WRT. Yeah, I know that most of the players we just try to play the most honest we can, and it's tough when first tied and you call it on yourself. Side out. You can see that's good sportsmanship from all of us. Nine five. That's what we like to hear. Second serve. Looks like there's a second serve. Uh. Big shot there for Rigaldi. Shut up. Yeah, great shot there, making Jake move back from where he was going and didn't make it there. And Ugalde pumped up. We can see that fist pump again and see if he changes that lob serve to the forehand. Yeah, looks Five like he's going to go for the drive to the backhand. Or not. <laughs> he heard you. <laughs> effort there right for Galde, but that's going to be a side out for Brett and Beck. Two looks like he probably injured his elbow. Yeah, looks like he's yeah, hurting there. Left elbow. He Tough dove time. a little bit too early and kind of messed up his arm there. But looks like he's okay now. Ready to keep on going. Looks like he's ready. Nine serving five. Go, nine serving five. Yep. Long serve by Jake, second serve. Second serve. <laughs> nice hands there by Ugalde again. Right Just up. changing the pace of the rally. Scores another point and then six serving nine. Five nine. Five serving nine, sorry. See if Ugalde can take some of this momentum now and get a couple points on the board. Right out. Quick side out there for Brett and Beck. I feel like we've been stuck here at nine serving five for a little yes. while. What do you think um, Brett and Beck needs to do to kind of break this and get some points? I think what he just did right now was great uh, playing a position, changing pace, and. Skip shot. 
bad shot there by Ugalde on force there and he's back in third one this game. I think Jade should have gone down the line instead of the pinch there, but ten five worked at the end. Again for Ugalde and five serving ten and a bit five of a ten. change on the score there for Jake. Short serve. Short lob serve for Ugalde, that's not common. You don't see that too often on the lob. Nice right return up. there from Brad and Beck, that's going to give him the side out. 10-5. Oh, oh wow. a big unforced error there from Badenbeck. He was right up. set Huge up and one. he missed that. Ugala was down next to the wall. He had all the court to shoot. Five, serve stand. And big, big skip there. a little bit of a up. diving there before he should have dove and didn't Think get to the ball early. yeah nice hustle though by both players that was a big rally Brett and Beck winning that one Scoring so 10 five. 5 here in game 2 Brett and Beck taking game 1 15-13 there's plenty more racquetball to come after this. We have our next match between Danny Lazy and Alex Cardona. That's coming right up right after this. Big side out there for Ugalde. 5-10. Oh, a oh, well, big skip there Point. by Jake. For those of you Six, watching at home, make sure you go to Facebook.com and check out our events page where we have our next tournament. <laughs> We're going to be going to Jake Redenbeck's home state of Minnesota right for the Midwest Championships. That's coming <laughs> on April 30th. It'll, uh, the play Ten will be six. May 1st through the 3rd. So for those of you <laughs> watching, you are going to want to go ahead and sign up. You can on R2 and tune in, come by. We'll be at the University of Minnesota. Good shot. Brennan Beck now with a good shot. I believe that's a point. Point. 11-6. Big on fourth error from Ugalde. Skipped it. Jake, 12 serving six. Wow, big wow. rip there from Brennan Beck. Amazing cross court for oh. him. He's got Ugalde going all over the floor now. Brett and Beck three away from closing this game out and taking the match. Oh. Looks like Ugalde's going to put a little bit of a pause on there and take a timeout. We're going to have from our sponsors. Stick around. We'll be right back. Back here in game two. Brett and Beck leading game two 12 6 after taking game one 15 13 against Jose Ugalde. Both these players taking a little bit of time. Time in. They're getting ready to get back out on the court. The ref is going to move them along there. Here comes 
Ugalde from Ecuador. Now coming up after this match, we have lots more racquetball for you. The next match after this is Danny Lavely versus Alex Cardona, followed by Mario Mercado and David Horn at 12 noon, and then at 1 p.m., Polo Gutierrez and Red Francisco Tamposo. There's lots more racquetball here this weekend. The winner of today's match here between Brett and Beck and Ugaldi will continue on to the semifinals tonight at 5 p.m. And our second semifinal is at 6 p.m. So keep it Wow, big, big skip. We've seen a lot of errors here, I think, so far in the match today. Yeah, Jake has five unforced errors in his forehand only. from Ugalde. Gives point. him a point. Changing paces a little bit. Playing with Jake's rhythm and 7-12. 7-12. Trying to build back the score and see if he can make it. Point. All right, Ugalde in a bit of a rhythm with two in a row here in game two. Great, right great pass there by Jake back in the box and we actually Four have eight. Bam Bam Almala talking to him <laughs> he's yeah. saying he's tuning in and he wants me to say hi to him, so Printer. hey, ma'am, I'm keep him watching, please. What's up, Bam Bam? Like, I know some of our Swap WRT it. players couldn't make it, a lot of them are juggling school and playing professionally. So, shout out to the <laughs> players watching at home. Oh, nice there. C return or something, or Point. shot by Jake. Sticks into the glass, and Ugalde can shoot nine. it, so it's gonna be 13 serving nine. Eight, I believe. Oh. Second, Second serve. serve for Brad and Beck. Good job. Oh, wow. Big, big skip by Ugalde. Fourteen, eight. That's gonna put Jake at match point right now. Wow. Point. And a point for Brett and Beck. That means he's going to win this match, uh, taking game one, 15-13, game two, 15-8 over Jose Ugalde. A great game by both players, although we were talking about a lot of errors, but looks like Brett and Beck will now move on to the semifinals later tonight. Stick around. Our next match coming up is Danny Lavely versus Alex Cardona. Don't go anywhere. We have that in 10 minutes. Thanks for watching the WRT. We'll be right back.